this week's topic of Amuna Mondays was the difference between Amuna and Bitachon. And before we begin, this class is actually dedicated to Chaim Ben Asher. May his neshama have the ultimate aliyah. I felt like this topic was necessary because multiple times we have spoken about Amuna, we've spoken about Bitachon, and I feel like generally, if you were to ask just the average Joe Shmo or your average person, what's the difference? They actually tend to struggle with identifying the difference between the two. One is faith and the other one is trust. And they seem very similar, especially when it comes to context. It's like, oh, Amuna, oh, Bitachon. It seems very similar. And, and I feel like they get mixed up a lot. So this week is just, this week's topic is just going to be breaking it down to identify and, and I, uh, what the differences are between the two. Because there are differences and they are two different things. And explaining in depth what each one is so everybody does have a better understanding of it. So we'll start with Bitachon because we are learning um, Shahar Bitachon, which is the gate of trust, the book. And in that book, it's very logical. It's, it simplifies things. So it's, a, it's a very practical book, which I, I, I do love it. But that is what Bitachon is. Bitachon is very logic based. And to use a metaphor, it would be the light at the end of the tunnel. When you're looking down a tunnel and you see a light, that, and that's why you keep going. That's bitachon. Trust. It's like trust is very logical. It's like a business person comes over and pitches you this whole business pitch. And it's like, okay, you know, he showed me the numbers. The numbers make sense. It's that. Okay, I trust him. I'm going to invest with him. That's bitachon. There's, there's logic behind it. As opposed to Amuna, Amuna is, is, is a lot less logical. It's actually, and personally, I feel it's, it's completely nullifying the concept of logic. And it's faith. Faith is, is above logic. You don't need a reason. It's not like, oh, I need a reason to, to believe in this. It's like, no. God said I'm to do this, I'm doing it. My job is to, my purpose is this, I'm doing it. I don't need um, all these reinforced reasons or excuses or support behind it to do it, which Bitachon has. Amuna doesn't have that. It doesn't contain that. It's actually nullifying it when it makes no sense. That's Amuna. As Amuna begins where logic ends. That's the, the classical saying. And that's because logic is not in, there's no logic in Amuna. That's what makes it Amuna. Logic is in Bitachon. Bitachon is logical. Bitachon is the light at the end of the tunnel. Imuna is when you're looking down that tunnel, there is no ounce of light. You don't see anything. No light, no airflow going a certain way, no breeze, no water going going um, on, a, on a certain current. Nope, nothing. You have nothing to go off of. But yet you still continue going down that path. Why? That's Imuna. When you have no, there's no reason behind it. There's no reason you're doing, going through it. Other than the fact is, I know I'm in this position and God doesn't put me in a position that I can't handle. So I can handle this because God, because I'm in it. So you go about and do it. That's a Muna. So now when it comes to labeling which one was, which one is better, which one is stronger, you would think a Muna is greater than Bitachon. It's at a higher level, which is completely a, a fair analysis to come to. And the conclusion is to be like, oh, a Muna is less than uh, and Amuna is greater than Bitachon. But the shocking thing is, the Rebbe, the Rebbe of Lubavitch, was actually a very big advocate that Bitachon, when mastered, is greater than Amuna. And you'd think, wh how, how or why would he say such a statement? You know, it's like, what do you mean? What do you mean it's greater than? And... It's, just, it's a very fair question. Why, why is it greater? Like this, that. It's, it's, it's tough to wrap your head around. How is Bitachon, something with tr uh, logic behind it, greater than faith? It's like your, your connection is directly with Hashem and no outside sources. How is that less than other sources? And it's a completely fair question. And I didn't really hear an answer, but actually through hearing it, I, I felt like I, I came up with an answer personally. And that, that's what we spoke about yesterday. And I spoke about how I feel the reason that Bitachon, when mastered, is greater. And why the Rebbe says that is 
the the words mastered. He stressed on the, he stressed on the word mastered. When mastered, bitachon is greater than amuna. Naturally, yes, for face value, amuna is greater than bitachon. But now when mastered, why is it when mastered suddenly bitachon becomes greater than amuna? And I was thinking about it, and I felt like there's a there's a huge lesson to learn from it. And like we said, bitachon has logic behind it. Emuna is not. It's actually nullifying the concept of logic. So why then would be when, when the Rebbe says bitachon when mastered is greater than emuna? That's I I've, I felt like that's because we're able when when you can do that, you're taking your surroundings and finding a way to connect it to Hashem, no matter what it is. It can be trauma from a from family it can be trauma from an experience an ex a past relationship uh upbringing yet you somehow are connecting it to hashem that's bitachon there's a logic lo- logic behind it taking your experiences and your surroundings and adapting to it that's bitachon and once that ha- once that that was established i felt like okay there you we can expand on this even more now and that is an angel is perfect, right? Angels are perfect. They don't make mistakes, all these things. It's angels. And the thing is, we do, we sin, and that's what makes us human. We have free will. We can sin, we cannot sin, we we have that. Angels don't have this. And at the same time, because an angel doesn't have those con- that concept of sinning or doubt, they don't have the access to bitachon. An angel is like, wow, like we strive to, oh, you know, like during certain holidays, we dress in white to resemble angels, but yet we're greater than angels. We have the, we have better potential than, we have greater potential than angels. And what is that? It's when mastered, when we, when, when mastered, when, when accomplished our mission in this world, we are above the concept of angels and that's bitachon. Why? It's, it's that, that exact reason is because it's bitachon. Angels don't have the opportunity to ever do bitachon. They don't have that. Why? Because there's no concept of doubt. There's no concept of taking the scenario and connecting it to Hashem. It's all directly to Hashem, directly from the, from the source. And we, we are so far away from the source where we have to take the natural things in life and, this and, that and find ways to connect it to Hashem. That's bitachon. And when mastered, when we can take everything in life and connect it to Hashem, that's when we, we master Bitachon, that's greater than Amuna. And that just shows that us as humans, we shouldn't just aim for angels, but rather we are greater than, we have the potential to be greater than angels, and that's taking our negatives, taking our flaws, and somehow transforming them into a connecting aspect to Hashem. And that's what it, that's what Bitachon is. So we have to understand when, when we can truly look at it and break it down that Bitachon cannot ever be accomplished by an angel. An angel can never reach the stage of bitachon. Us as humans can. And if anything, we start with bitachon and move to emuna. And then when once that's done, you backtrack and go and stress even more on the bitachon aspect. Your goal is not just emuna. It should be mastering bitachon because that's what the that's the mission of a human being is taking everything in this world and somehow connecting it and reverting it back to Hashem, which is the ultimate source. So again, thank you so much for, for listening this week. And don't forget, this class was dedicated in honor of Chaim Ben Asher. May his neshama have the ultimate aliyah. See you guys next week.